Hey class, today we're going to learn how to suture a banana and how to do some transverse, sagittal, and frontal incisions. Hope you got your sewing needle and your knife ready to go. Can't wait, brother. All right, so hopefully you all have your banana and you'll want a marker or something to mark the front, so the anterior side, and the back, the posterior side. That way we all make the same incisions on our banana. So if the anterior side is gonna be the one with the curve. So I added a face to show the anterior side. And then the convex side, hey, there's a math term there. That's gonna be our posterior side. So, once you have your banana, you'll need a knife, a sharp knife, preferably. Don't hurt yourself, be very careful. And you'll need a threaded needle. So I already threaded my needle because later on, we are going to do some stitching and suturing. So there's my needle. All right, so step one is we're going to take our knife and make a transverse or horizontal incision to cut our banana into superior and inferior sides. So I'm gonna cut through. So now we have a transverse view of our banana and we can see the seeds and the top skin layer of our banana. The seeds are deep. There's the intermediate pulp of the banana that we eat. And then there's that outside layer, the epidermis, that is superficial. Oh no! So after we've made our horizontal cut, we now have half a banana. We're going to grab our inferior half. So grab the in inferior half of your banana. You're going to make a sagittal incision. Try to go right down the center for your sagittal incision. And now we have the sagittal view of our banana. So the sagittal view will show us something different, right? Then the horizontal. Now we can see the seeds from the side view. So sometimes we'll make a sagittal incision to see the sagittal view of anything we're dissecting or in a surgery. Okay, then take one of your sides, maybe the side that doesn't look as nice, like this side didn't have as good of a sagittal view. Put this one to the side. We'll make our last incision a frontal incision that will cut into the front and back plane and try to follow the seed. Oop, get stuck here. And now we can see you see a little bit of the seed, kind of looks like a, a wedge. You can peel it back and eat it. All right, so now we're gonna go into surgery. We're gonna pretend our patient here has some type of growth in their posterior side on their back. So it's, uh, Inferior to the stem, superior to the uh, buttocks, so superior to the buttocks, inferior to the stem. We'll make a small incision here. We'll try to open up our banana. Might have to go a little bit bigger. So maybe it's a bigger incision. <laughs> and 
and we're going to try to extract that growth. So I made a small sagittal incision here. Well, not really small. Uh, and I'm going to remove this growth that I found. And the best way to get rid of it is to eat it. OK. But now we have this open wound on our patient. That's going to be very easy for an infection, for them to get sick. It's not going to heal very well. So we need to close up this incision we made. This is where our needle and thread come in. All right, so we have our sagittal incision that we made in our patient, but we need to close this back up. So we're gonna take our needle and thread, and this is actually pretty similar to what they use in an emergency surgery. Uh, it's just like sewing. However, what they do is they put one stitch at a time, and they use a special type of thread that's sterile. Uh, that takes a while, and it takes a lot more tools than we have. So we'll just keep it simple today and uh, sew like we know how to sew. So first, you're going to want to bring your two uh, layers of banana skin together so we know how we want it to end up. We want them to be touching so they fill in and heal correctly. We don't want space. Typically, you would put your first suture in the middle and then put them on the outside and then one in between. Because we're doing it the sewing technique way like you did for your sock puppets, we're going to start at the bottom. So you're going to bring your needle, and they typically use the hook needle and they hook it in and pull it out, and then they tie a fancy knot, clip it off, and then they do another stitch. So that's why they count the stitches. You might have stitches before. You got nine stitches, 10 stitches. Um, that's how they do it. So I'm gonna bring it in one side and out the other. And make a knot like we would if we were sewing fabric. So I bring it through the knot I made and tighten it so it looks like a stitch. Ooh, I ripped my banana skin. So don't pull it as hard as I did, so now I have to redo it. So I'm going to push it through. Try to keep your stitches as close together as you can. And don't pull too hard like me. Make your knot. Oh, and it broke again. So let's third time's the charm. So push it through. Then go through the two strings knotted together. And there we go. So I'm not gonna pull hard. So then you're just gonna lace it. If you know ladder lacing on shoes, that's what you're gonna be doing with your needle. And we're gonna do an over, over. So I go under and then over the top. So I have two stitches here. So I go under, over. So you'll do that all the way up to bring your two banana skins together. So I'm on to my final stitch. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stitches. This was a pretty bad incision, right? Uh, I'm going to put in my last stitch, and then with that loop, 
I have left, I'm going to feed it through, just like we used to end with our sewing, and make a knot. It's always good to double knot, so I'm going to do the same thing again. So I push it through, and there's a loop of string left over here that I'm going to feed back through. And mine looks all tangled, which is no good. So untangle it. So I have this big loop left with my string. I'm going to pull the needle through the loop, tie it off. So now I have a knot. I can cut off the string. And there's my stitching. So Jeremy is all ready to go. Thanks, guys. All right. So when you're finished, you're gonna up, upload two photos. One photo of your sutures and one of the sagittal view of your banana. Good work.